Hi everyone, this is Dr. Diana Song Song. In today's lesson, we are going to have some exercises on savings account and time deposits. For a more detailed explanation regarding those topics, I have a video for that. So don't forget to click on the card above if you want to review that. But if you have already watched that video, then you can just proceed with this lesson. Okay, so let us recall first our formulas for simple interest and compound interest. So for simple interest, the interest is given by the principal times the rate R times the time, and this one is always in years. And of course, the future value of the money is equal to the principal amount plus the interest or income that you earn. And um, you can also write this formula as this one, principal times 1 plus RT. And for compound interest, the formula is the principal times 1 plus R over M, where R is the rate and M is the number of periods. And then raise to number of periods times the number of years. So again, if you need to recall um, these formulas, I have a video for this um, um, showing um, examples for this one. Okay, so let us look at this first problem that we have. Donna borrows 20000 at 40% simple interest for 3 years. How much interest will she pay? Now, what do we want here, class? We are looking for the interest right so and it says here that we are looking at simple interest so what's our formula for that let me just write it here In interest is equal to principal times rate times the time and what is our principal our principal is 20,000 right that's the original amount of money that um, you invested and then your rate is 4% but remember, in using this formula here, the rate R should always be in decimal form. So what is that in decimal form? That is 0 0.04, right? You move two decimal places to the left. And then, of course, our time is 3 years. So T is equal to 3, okay? How much interest will she pay? So we just have to plug in our formula. So principal is 20,000 times the rate which is 0 0.04 times t which is 3. So what is that equal to? That will be equal to 2,400. Okay? Okay, so for our next example, we want to look for um, what is this? How much must Ella deposit in a bank that pays 11% interest compounded quarterly so that she will have 400000 after 4 years? So what are we looking here for? It's asking for how much must Ella deposit and that is your principal amount, right? So we are looking for the principal amount and we, it says here 11% interest compounded quarterly. So, our, our date is 11% in decimal form. That's 0 0.11. And it says that it is compounded quarterly. So, therefore, that's your M. The number of periods is 4. And then, you want to have 400,000 after 4 years. What is that 400,000? That is your future value, right? And, of course, 4 years, that is your um, T, the number of years. Okay, so let us just um, recall the formula. What do we have? Future value. This is for compound interest, right? So, the formula is P times 1 plus R over M raised to M times T. So, we're looking for the principal. We still do not know what that is. Our future value, let me plug it in, that's 400,000. 1 plus my rate is 0 0.11 over m is 4 raised to m times t. 
which is 4 times 4. Correct? So, since we are solving for P, I can just divide both sides by this expression. 1 plus 0.11 over 4 plays to 4 times 4. 1 plus 0 0.11 over 4 plays to, or I can just write 16. Okay? So, now, that will give you your principal amount. So, you can now just use your calculator to see that this one will be equal to um, 20, um, 259,149.70 to the nearest um, hundreds. Okay? Okay, so for our next problem, Mr. Santos invested 200000 in a time deposit that earns 3.5 per year. Suppose he agreed to leave his money in the bank for 180 days. Considering the 20% withholding tax charge to peso time deposits, how much will he receive at the end of the term? And we have to use 365, 365 days in one year. Okay, so... What, let us identify first um, the given facts that we have here. 200,000 pesos is the principal amount, right? And then our rate is 3.5% or in decimal form, that's 0 .0, 0, uh, 0 0.035. And then our time class. What is our time? Remember the time here is in years, correct? But since we are looking at an example wherein it's less than one year, so what will you do? What is that in years? What is 180 days in years? That's 180 over 365. Okay? Now, also remember that you have a 20% withholding tax. So, let us recall that for instances like this, wherein you leave your money for less than a year, you always use the formula for simple interest, PRT. But since we want to find the net, how much will he receive at the end of the term? I will just write it as I net. When I say I net, I'm referring to this one as the income, the interest that you that you earned with the withholding tax deducted already. What is that? That's the interest, but you own you multiply it by 0.8. Okay. So um, deducting 20% means that you only get 80% of your money. So that's why you need your times 0.8 here. Okay? So now, it's just a matter of substituting the value. So our P is 200,000. I should write it here. Our P is 200,000 times the rate, which is 0 0.035, times time, which is 180 over 365, times 0 0.8. Okay? So, upon calculation, you will get 2,761 pesos and 64 centavos. Okay? Let's proceed with the next problem. Karen borrowed 50000 from a financing institution with simple interest. Suppose after 18 months, Mina paid a total of 61250 What is the rate of interest? Now, here we are looking for the rate of interest. Okay, so we want our R. Okay, what is it that we are given? The principal amount is... 50,000 and this 61,250 that is our future value right but from here what can you get if you know the principal and the future value you can get the interest correct what is the interest from 
this one or the income. When I say just interest, I'm referring to the income, the money that you get. It's equal to the future value minus P. Correct? Okay, so that's 61,250 minus 50,000. So that means your interest is 11,250. Now, what is the formula for interest again? Interest is PRT. Let's plug in what we have. Um, oh wait, I forgot the 18 months. The 18 months is, wait, let me just write it there. What is 18 months class? 18 months in years is, this is 12 months plus 6 months, correct? So this is 1 year, half of a year. So that's 1.5 years. So our interest is 11,250 is equal to principal, which is 50,000 times the R, which we do not know, and then our time, which is 1.5. Since we are solving for R, and R is multiplied by 50,000 and 1.5, what will we do to solve for R? We divide both sides by 50,000 times 1.5. Okay? And then you can use now your calculator. So this gets cancelled you will be left with R equal to 0 0.15 or that's 15%. Okay? So for our last problem, we have how much actual interest net of withholding tax will you get if you deposit 25,000 in savings account at 0.5% at per annum? So this is just the same as what we had earlier wherein we are looking for the actual income how much money will you actually get because don't forget that you still have a withholding tax of 20 percent of your income so let us recall the formula i net is prt times 0.8 and then what is our p our p is 25 000. our r is 0.8 0.5% but in decimal form we still have to move it to decimal places to the left so we get 0 0.005 and then our time it doesn't say anything always assume that it's equal to one year okay if it doesn't say anything but if it says how much actual interest will you get if you deposit your money um, for 18 months or Two years then okay but if it doesn't say anything always assume that it is equal to one year and then we'll, let us now plug that in so i net is 25,000 times r times t which is just one times 0.8 because you have a 20 percent deduction so when you solve for that you can get 100 pesos understand thank you for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also watch for more videos here